Well, hello, my White House Black Market family. It is me, Brandy, your style expert here. Well, today, we're going back to our roots. We are the White House Black Market, so today it is all about the color white. We're going to talk about busting some of the myths that we think about associating with the color white, and then of course some fabulous tips, ways to wear. You are going to be ready to go this summer when it comes to the color white. Now, I could not think of a better guest to have join me today. If you've walked past it, one of your favorite boutiques with White House Black Market and seen the gorgeous displays in the windows. If you admire what you see on the forms behind us, it is definitely due in part to this fabulous man. Brian, thank you so much for joining me today. <laughs> My pleasure. Um, you know, I've seen him working behind the scenes here and I said, no, you, you got to come on here with me. You've got such a great sense of style. You've been with the company for what, five years now? Yeah, it's been about five years. So he knows this brand, he loves this brand, and I could not have thought of a better expert to join us today to talk all about hot white, summer whites, the ultimate guide to summer whites here at White House Black Market. All right, so we're going to get straight away into this. Now, first of all, we're going to bust the first myth, right? Mm -hmm. um, can you wear white after Labor Day? Of course you can. You can pretty much wear white any time of the year you want. Uh, there's only a few things you have to think about, and that's like fabrication of what you're wearing, uh, the shade that you're wearing, and what you're wearing it with. I love it, yes. So I, I hope that we've heard that. I actually did a little bit of research on this. So that rule came about um, post-Civil War by the kind of the ladies of society. And they kind of wrote all of these rules that were complete rubbish just to kind of separate themselves from what they would call the commoners. So now today in 2021, it is game over. We are saying white is a color that you can wear year round. But there definitely is something to the shades of white and the fabrication of it. So we're going to talk a little bit more about that as we go along. Fabulous. Well, let's start talking with some of the basics because I understand you're going, Brandy, girl, I am not, I am not doing head to toe white. Maybe, so be it. If you're thinking about tiptoeing into this color, I think it's always best to start with like an essential piece, something that you're super comfortable with, right? Exactly. So why don't we talk about this for a second to start? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, obviously it's kind of more of our basic perfect tee, so it's got a little bit of a high rise, so she's great to go with a high rise denim. Mm -hmm. She's got this great little cap sleeve here. Um, and again, what you were speaking to before, my favorite thing about this is this perfect intro into wearing white. It's a tee that you can wear back to denim, you can wear back to anything in your wardrobe. Um, and she details really nicely with any sort of layering of jewelry that you want to go ahead and add to her. I mean, when it comes to accessories, and I love the way that you've styled this here, white and metallics are like BFFs. Mm -hmm. And just like we're saying, you can definitely wear white after Labor Day. Would you say the same about mixing your metallics? For sure. I think, you know, I know White House Black Market, we do a really good job of creating multiple tonal pieces. So it's not 100% gold, it may not be 100% silver, yeah. but it works back to any of the jewelry you already have and any of the outfitting we do throughout the year. Absolutely. And it also was a great nod that uh, yesterday, by the way, was a National T-shirt day. <laughs> so happy National T-shirt day. But yes, if you are thinking of introducing a little bit of white into your wardrobe, I think that like the essential V-neck tee is like the perfect place to start. Mm -hmm. Now, just like with accessories, metallics are like the best friend. When it comes to other apparel pieces, it's got to be all about those baby blues, right? Mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit more about, about these jeans and why you put that together with so it. So we brought in these jeans. Number one, if you're going to wear something a little bit basic, the detailing in the denim is really what's going to mm. make the outfit pop. So the seam down the front of each leg is really just works really well to go ahead and kind of slim you because it kind of takes what you have as a thigh, cuts it in half into smaller sections, creating a kind of slimmer look. And then, of course, the slit at the bottom there works well with any sort of shoe that you wear. So yeah. you can get a little bit almost like a peak of uh, any of your footwear. I'm, ob I'm obsessed with this pair of jeans. I, for a second, I didn't want to ruin your beautiful look. I wanted to, like, put them on because <laughs> I like them so much. Yes, you're creating such a great kind of 
optical illusion here. With that beautiful seaming running right down the front, it is going to create this beautiful long line that just keeps running up the body. And then, because you've got this little slit in the front, it's the perfect opportunity to also sh show off some fabulous white shoes. Exactly. So we've talked about the tee. Let's now kind of talk about footwear a little bit. Mm -hmm. Footwear, like a great little sandal, or this pair of sneakers is another great way to kind of introduce yourself to white if you're not willing to go for like the full on white look. Mm -hmm. Tell us more about that. So, so much of what you were saying is the same with like any trend. So you wanna be familiar with the pieces that you use when you first get into the trend. So what's great about these is that they have obviously our little white WHBM kick. Oh yeah, yeah. Show, show the back of those babies. Yes, yeah, so that's my favorite part. It has the leopard so on cute. it. So mm cute. -hmm which is a great you know, neutral tone that ties back to denim, ties back to black, ties back to any sort of pant you have in your wardrobe. And then again, she has a little bit of the gold detailing, which is wonderful. But again, the front silhouette of the foot's gonna be almost a solid white look, which works really well with any sort of outfit. Yes, I mean, and in my mind, it's like, if you kind of think about some of like the building blocks within your like White House black market wardrobe, like the tee and the white sneaker are definitely up there. All right, well, if we are now, if we're good with tiptoeing, right? You're like, t-shirt, I got you, girls. Sneakers, I'm with you. Now let's start pushing the envelope a little bit further. So I'm gonna start grabbing a few of the things off of the rack, and I wanna talk this time about um, texture, mm -hmm. fabrication, and also color, okay. because I hear this a lot. It's like, white looks beautiful on you, but like, it's not a color for me. Mm -hmm. Now, do you really think that's the case? I mean, I think at some point it is the case, but we're really lucky that we live in this day and age. So there's a hundred different variations of white that anyone can find the white that works for them. Yeah, so here's a couple examples. Like in this great little jacket from, from White House Black Market, it is more almost really of like kind of a creamy ivory color. Mm -hmm. And with my warm skin undertones, that is the color of white that I kind of naturally gravitate towards. Sometimes whites like this t-shirt or this great little kind of boho inspired blouse here, this is kind of more one of those true whites where the undertone almost tends to be like a bluish color. So if you have a cooler skin tone, these pure whites or radiant whites are going to look better on you. So I always say like, make sure that you give it a chance. Maybe you just haven't tried the right white. Mm -hmm. So let's continue on with that. Um, this little blouse is ticking so many boxes for me. So I love this because I think one of the other things sometimes with white is people think, well, white's boring, mm -hmm. right? I could not disagree with that <laughs> statement anymore. And one way to kind of trump that is with texture or, or visual interest. What do you think about this? 100%. So, you know, the number one, the kind of lace we have here, it's a perfect summer lace. Uh. It's very open. Uh, not so delicate, you know, so it's not going to snag on a bunch of things. So the detailing there is obviously a win for us. Another detailing piece is going to be the smocked hem, which works out really well because when you want to blouse the top, you're able to kind of move where it goes. Yeah. So you can kind of get that blouse effect up there if you want or lower, and it really fits a lot of different types of body shapes. Absolutely. Yes. Um, I, I personally love using this smocking and pushing it up a little higher to kind of get that blossom look, mm -hmm. you know, but you don't have to do it with tucking it in to get that look. It's already exactly. kind of built into it with it. It's a little trick we have. Yeah. Had. Now, again, this is kind of one of those softer, almost kind of ivory whites. And again, talk about those perfect pairs. Why don't we grab some of the earrings over here that oh. you think are just like the perfect complement to this? So really I kind of go with these, mainly because Oof. this pearl really catches and kind of takes the shape of any white that it's with. So it even doesn't seem so stark white, it brings back down to kind of like that, again, cream we were speaking to yeah. earlier. And then as you said, of course, the gold really works really well with this as well. They're, they're like, they're best friends. And this jewelry specifically is incredibly on trend right now. Uh, pearls are having a resurgence, but they're not your mama's pearls. No, no, no. I like that they feel a little bit more like unearthed from the sea. Mm -hmm. They're kind of perfectly imperfect in their shape. Um, and so I, again, just think that that is like such a great compliment to each other. So we've talked a little bit about texture. I wanna keep going with it because 
We've talked about sea pearls, how that's mm -hmm. kind of a big trend for this spring summer, but there's also this very sweet, almost sometimes prairie-esque vibe that's going on, and it is all about Islet this summer. 100%. What do you think? I think 100%. Mm. Like, Islet is probably one of the most popular trends we've been embracing here at White House Black Market. I mean, when we originally at Allene dealt with black and white, obviously we experimented a lot with lace. Yeah. But I think we really found our kind of niche with uh, going with some of these Islet pieces. Um, this dress works super well because even though it has a little bit of volume to it, we have a different kind of gauge of eyelet on the arms as to the center. So it really is going to give you that shape you're looking for when you're getting a really nice I dress. also think it's a, an incredibly versatile piece. Because it's a true shirt dress silhouette, I would unbutton it and almost wear it like a duster. Mm, you can definitely so do that as well. So you could pair it back with your perfect little tee, the great little skinny jean, and then like wear it open for a completely different vibe. Now, I also love that it comes um, with kind of this, you know, tone-on-tone -tone white belt, mm -hmm. but I'd love to see it with maybe, yes. oh yes. So this is, where we this is where we start to shake and bake a little <laughs> bit, right? We start to have a little bit of fun with it. I mean, how could we have a white segment without an amazing, well, black and white or full-on white look? So this you're picking out is um, like an Obi belt yep, silhouette, right? Yep, it's gonna be right? an Obi belt for okay. us. Uh, it was one of our more popular ones for summer. Um, I'm going to tie it around twice just so we can get it to stay, but it really, really brings the dress oh, to another different yes, level. Yes, doesn't it? It elevates it to, uh, I don't know, it makes it a little bit more chic, a little bit more sophisticated, um, and brings it to more of a modern idea of what it looks like to wear um, eyelet. Yes, you know, I was... Um I was talking with somebody yesterday and we were talking about the importance of the word juxtaposition, mm -hmm. right? And I think what works about this is that the eyelet is so sweet that the leather in the belt like toughens it up a little bit, mm -hmm. right? So it doesn't make it too much of one thing. Exactly. It's like a mixture of kind of high-low. So kind of taking one extreme of fashion and mixing it with the other to kind of create your own style personality. Yeah. yeah. So I think another great thing to do is if you have this beautiful white. Think of this as like the canvas of your look to pull in a little punch of color. Mm -hmm. What do you think about one of the bags as an accessory? So with this? for summer, obviously this would feel Ugh. the best to me. Um, number one, this kind of raffia I feel looks great with any sort of eyelet. Number two, we want to go with a more vibrant color for summer. Yeah. Um, and I think the pink with the white here really just is super eye-catching. It is, it is. So if you kind of think as the white of the foundation of your work, of your look, then use the accessories as that moment to kind of like punctuate mm -hmm. it with that with that shock of color. For for uh, absolutely. And even if you didn't want to just use the one bag, you could get you know a pink shoe that goes with it, a pink earring, and really pull the color together. Because once you're wearing the white, it just really just makes it pop all that more. Yes, I love that. I love that. All right. All right, so we've talked a lot about kind of true white. We've shown quite a bit of that, but I also want to show that, yes, sometimes we think we got to either do head to toe white or we can only do white with like a pink or a green, something that is a complete contrast to it. Mm -hmm. But I always say, here's my little like, my little like nerd alert, um, look up a color wheel. Uh -huh. And I always say for white or any color, it goes with the colors that are right around it. Mm -hmm. So white, off-white, ivory, all of those, or the complete opposite of it. Mm -hmm. So don't be afraid to mix your similar tones together. It's going to give you an incredibly chic look. So let's pull some of those pieces out and look at those together. Let's talk about like this together. I'm gonna hang it up here so that you can see it better. So you're still getting credit for kind of these whites and neutrals, but it's it's looking very different than like the eyelet look, for example, that we just put together. What mm -hmm. are you liking about something like this? Uh, my favorite way is that you're still mixing two kind of different ideas, but in two different ways. So here you're playing with more of the texture and shine that comes from the lurex within this top and then as well as the kind of rippling effect you have here, but then you're pairing that against to a more graphic print. Yeah. So it's not too overwhelming, it just really creates a perfect amount of interest in a look. And then have, uh, the fact that they're both the same tone just really almost makes it look like it's an outfit that you 
gotten and went straight out of the store in. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It's like it's like instant polish. And I will say, I'm going to I'm going to come up a little closer so you can see some of the details on it. It's got this beautiful metallic lurex that's woven into the fabric. So you're going to get a little bit of that that shimmer, that sheen without having to do, you know, like full on like sequins or rhinestones or anything like that drastic. It will also again perfectly complement some of these silver and gold tone jewelry pieces that we've selected here. Do you have another pair of earrings that, you, that you'd love to show with this one? With these, I may go a little more simple okay. in shape, a little gold. Um, even though there is a little silver in the, in the Lurex, I think the little kind of uh, rhinestoning in these earrings will bring out that silver in the earring as well. And then of course the gold will also pair back to yeah. the brown tones we yeah. have in the short. So easy, right? Super it, it, easy. It really should be about kind of finding things that can be the building blocks that when you walk into your closet that you feel like you can make a confident choice. Mm -hmm. do, you, do you ever do this? You know, it's like you get captivated by something in the store. You get it home, you put it in your closet, and you go, okay, it's great, but I have like nothing to go with it. <laughs> it's it, it, And then it just like sits there, and it almost like taunts you sometimes, right? Like it's like... You gonna style me today? What are you gonna put me with? And it's like, I don't know. <laughs> well, if you kind of go with these, these essential building blocks, especially in these beautiful neutrals, mm -hmm. you're always going to be building this arsenal of like the perfect things that go together, right? Because like getting dressed should be like a joy, not mm -hmm. a frustration. Exactly. Don't you feel like that's one of like the strong suits of, of what White House Black Market does? 100%, it's like anything you buy within the collection, works well with other pieces, but really it works best, best with itself. So it's almost like you have a little secret capsule collection you can mix and match within itself to create outfitting that no one has really seen before. Yeah, I love it. Well, lastly, we want to end, of course, with a little bit more color. We talked about how white and then kind of those metallic accessories are a perfect complement, but we're going to kind of go back to where we started, saying that like white and those baby blues, I mean, just like a white t-shirt and a pair of jeans are always so good together. You can never go wrong with it. But I also want to add a couple other into the mix. So let's, let's talk about like something like this. Oh, mama. Mm -hmm. I mean, everything that is tie-dye and ecot and dip-dye in ombre is having a moment. Talk to me about, about this look anchored in the white jean. Perfect, so this is basically one of our kind of sweater Henleys we did for summer. We did them in almost every color we were able to. Um, this one is the mixture of the blue and the kind of cerulean idea. Huh. Um, the fit on it is amazing. It's a little bit more of a snugger fit and it works really well with like a skinny denim like this one here because you can kind of do a tuck in and it almost gives you like a seamless silhouette from yeah. the side. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, another thing I love about this look is that the embroidery you kind of see on the denim there really plays with the gold tone you have in the buttons of the sweater. Beautiful. Such an unexpected detail. And I love that the embroidery is like very placed and, mm -hmm. and thoughtful. And again, it's those tone on tone colors that we were talking about, right? Mm -hmm. Now, I said, you know, so we've talked about um, pearls as a big trend. We've talked about eyelet as a big trend. But I would say that right on its heels is all of these kind of um, artisan inspired tie-dyes, um, you know, dip dyes, et cetera. So I kind of have to end with, with, with this guy mm -hmm. as, a, as an alternative option. Talk to me about this one. So my favorite thing about this is that it has the detailing that, has, that comes with the tie-dye, but it's still in denim. Yeah. So honestly, it's something you can throw on with anything. It just looks great. It looks very, very polished. We have a little bit of a sleeve here. So we have the kind of almost uh, balloony of the sleeve at the end, but mm -hmm. it's still cinched in. It's a three quarter, so it's not gonna be too long. You won't like get it in any of your food or whatnot. <laughs> and then the kind of lace up here is just a really delicate feminine feature that really shows off the uh, V-neck that's going on the top. Okay, so let's bust another myth, Brian. Mm -hmm. Can you wear denim on denim? Oh, you can always wear denim on denim. I, t I, I <laughs> totally agree. Now. I actually like it when you do shades of denim that are different colors, mm -hmm. right? Unless you're kind of going for like that kind of like full uniform yep. utility look. Um, it just, it, it creates a little more visual interest when you break up the colors of denim, mm -hmm. but I love them mixed together. I as well. 
All right, everybody. Well, uh, are we feeling inspired? Are we ready to conquer our summer in our fabulous hot whites? I think we are. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, we've talked about tiptoeing into the trend with some of those basics, trying a tee, a sandal, sneakers, and then, of course, the perfect combo with those metallic accessories, the shades of white. Play with it. Try the one that suits you best. And then if all else fails, add some color and add a little texture. I hope that you are feeling inspired, educated, and ready to conquer this summer in your white look. I would love for you to share them with us. Brian, thank you so much for joining me today. <laughs> My pleasure. Well, everybody, I hope that you have a fabulous rest of your Tuesday uh, from all of us here at White House Black Market. Thank you so much, and we'll see you guys next week. Bye. Bye.